Women in Gaza have told us that they pray for peace, but that if peace does not come, they pray for a quick death in their sleep with their children in their arms. It should shame us all that any mother anywhere has such a prayer. UNICEF Executive Director Catherine Russell told the UN Security Council that more than 5,300 Palestinian children had reportedly been killed since October 7, making Gaza the most dangerous place in the world to be a child. UNICEF also welcomes a limited ceasefire agreement. We are positioned to quickly scale up the delivery of desperately needed humanitarian aid in Gaza, but of course more resources are needed to meet ever-growing needs. More than 5,300 Palestinian children have been reportedly killed in just 46 days. It's over 115 a day, every day, for weeks and weeks. Based on these figures, children account for 40% of the deaths in Gaza. This is unprecedented. In other words, today, the Gaza Strip is the most dangerous place in the world to be a child. Every day, approximately 180 women deliver under appalling conditions, the future for their newborns uncertain. At a moment when new life is beginning, what should be a moment of joy is overshadowed by death and destruction, horror and fear. The situation is most dire for women facing obstetric complications, some 15% of pregnant women. Their lives are at risk due to severely limited access to health care and to emergency obstetric care. UNFPA is deeply worried about the more than 7,000 women who gave birth over the past 47 days. United Nations Women Executive Director Sima Bahus told the Council women are praying for a quick death if their prayers for peace go unanswered. Israel has bombarded Gaza from the air, imposed a siege and invaded with soldiers and tanks. It agreed on Wednesday a ceasefire with Hamas for four days to let in aid to Gaza and exchange some hostages for Palestinians jailed in Israel. Israel's UN ambassador Gilad Erdan accused both UNICEF and UN women of not caring about those affected during Hamas's rule on Gaza.